Here is how to change the variable playback speed in Adobe Audition CC 2023. Variable playback speed allows you to both speed up or slow down the playback of audio, both in the waveform editor and in the multitrack. To follow along with this tutorial so you can customize the settings for variable playback speed, Go up to the top menu, click on Adobe Audition, About Audition, and just make sure that you're using version 23.3 or later. The keyboard shortcuts to control the playback and the playback speed are J, K, and L. J is going to play back the audio in reverse, K is going to stop or pause the playback of audio, and L is going to play back the audio in the forward direction and tapping on the J key or the L key repeatedly will speed up the playback in that direction. And to customize the playback speed when using the J, K, and L keyboard shortcuts, just go up to the top menu, click on Adobe Audition, Settings, Playback, and Recording. Go down to where you see J, K, L shuttle speed, click on the dropdown where you have four options. The default is normal speed, 1x. The speed that you select in this menu is going to be the starting playback speed when you tap on the letter J to playback in reverse or L to playback forward. The number in parentheses is also the increment at which it speeds up each time you repeatedly press either the J or the L key. I'll demonstrate this using half speed. I'll tap on the letter L one time. That's gonna start the playback in forward direction. If you look next to the stop button, you will always see the current playback speed. And since we had the setting at 0.5X, the starting playback speed was at 0.5X. If I tap L a second time, it's going to increase the playback speed in increments of 0.5 until it gets to 4X, which is the maximum. If I tap K, it's going to reset the playback speed. So if I tap L again, it starts over at that 0.5. It works the same way in reverse. If I tap J, it starts at 0.5, only now you will see a minus symbol. So if you see a minus next to the playback speed, then you know it's playing back in reverse. And if I want to speed up the reverse speed, I'll just tap J, and that's going to speed it up in increments of 0.5, in reverse, and if I tap K and tap J again, it starts over at that minus 0.5. And if you ever just wanna slow it down a little bit, maybe you find that 2X is too fast, you can just tap the opposite key. So if I tap L, 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 L to go up to 2X, and that's a little too fast, I'll just tap the J key, and that's gonna slow it down by the 0.5. But if I keep tapping J, when it gets to the negative, then it's gonna start playing in reverse. And if I change my mind and wanna go forward, I'll just tap L. So you can just toggle back and forth between the J and L. And if you wanna pause, just tap K. And the J, K, L in playback speeds works the exact same way in the multi-track. And that is how to use J, K, and L keyboard shortcuts to control the variable playback speed in Adobe Audition CC 2023. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.